Okay, good morning. Welcome to you. Hi, round number 831. Hi, Math 831. So, um, I saw a uh, really amazing um, experiment, I guess I'm going to call it, uh, or a result from uh, Jessica Rosencrantz while well, I was in Australia last week, and I've been, I've been waiting to do it. And uh, so we're going we're gonna to do it today. So what we do in this little experiment is we uh, put a, just a little doll of paint on a piece of glass. Uh, and then we spread it out all over the sort of all over the glass. So spread it out as much as you can. So we put it on like this. Alright. Make sure that paint is all completely covered in there. Yep. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this top piece of glass off. Okay. Okay. But before we do that, when we take the top piece of glass off, the paint is going to there's going to be a pattern of paint on the bottom glass and the top glass. All right. What do you think that pattern is going to look like? Um, I think it kind of just will look like maybe random blob because the paint is not. We didn't get exactly equally distributed, so I'm not. I think it'll. There might be some, like, repetition of the same, like blob. So you might have like a blob of paint on the top, and then like a shape where no paint is on the bottom. Oh really? Okay. So you think there'll be where the paint's on the top there piece might, of glass? There be... might be less paint on the bottom. Okay. And just one more time, what what sort of shapes are you expecting to see? Sort of like blob-like shapes, kind of like what's here. Okay. Just blobs. All right. I'm gonna try to hold the glass down while you just slowly see if you can pull that top glass up. Just lift it up like that, on that side. Here, I'll push it forward so that I should probably have gloves on too. Can you, can you lift it up on this side? No. Do you want me to do it? Right now you push down. Okay. All right. All right. So, wow. All right. Pull, pull that one and set it over here. So, here we go. It seems like we kind of got this root, kind of almost like roots shapes, and it looks to be sort of like mirror images of the same pattern. Yeah, you know, I'm zoomed in just on this bottom one down oh. here. But yeah, you're right, they, they do kind of look like mirror images. So how would you describe the shapes you're seeing here? Well, I think they're kind of almost like tree roots or tree branches. Like, they kind of branch off in multiple directions at once. And they're, they're almost kind of like, almost pretty equal width, too and then they sort of cover almost the whole area. So, was this what you were expecting to see? No. No? I thought there might be like uh, little like blobs, but I didn't think it would be this. I guess this is might be like the air under the paint. Okay, yeah, that's an interesting uh, theory. Do you have any other guesses for why, why you removing the plate created this interesting pattern? Not really. I mean, it's it's pretty cool, but I'm not really sure how it would work. Huh. Okay, well, it, this is a really amazing surprise. Yep. Um, do you think if you did it again, you would see the same pattern? I think you would see something around the same pattern. I think it would be something similar. Well, why don't we try it? Why don't we just put it right back on top? Smash it down, sort of rub it around, and uh, go ahead, lift it up again. There we go, and yeah, it's actually pretty similar. 
so it's pretty neat what happens. I mean, there's also a sort of, I'm not sure what these little, the, it's almost like black or gray parts are. Yeah, maybe there was just a little bit less paint there in the beginning. Yeah, maybe. Okay, cool. Did you like this? Yeah. All right, good job, huh?